This is the Language of Business with Greg Stoller. Does old school retail banking still matter in the rough and tumble world of big business? Barry Sloan certainly thinks so. He and his family have been in the banking business for nearly half a century. As the CEO and president of Century Bank, welcome to the Language of Thank Business. Thank you, Greg. It's an honor to be here. Appreciate it. On your website, the value proposition is customer intimacy. Right. What does that mean? Well, it means that you have a strong relationship with senior management. Uh, I would define that, and I think I, this is true for any business person, that who's the most senior bank officer they know uh, where they do their business. And if it's at the highest levels, as it is almost all the time at Century Bank, uh, I would make the case that you have a strong relationship, one that will last a long time through good times and bad times. And I approve every loan in the bank. And that's really the most important function I have. Because in that way, I know our customers, I know the market, I know where we can be helpful. People suffer all kinds of life events. And the most important thing we can do is to bridge them over those times. Your competitors are going to say that although decisions aren't made locally, they have a much stronger balance sheet than you do. How would you respond? I would observe that uh, we are A-minus rated by S&P, which ranks us at the highest level for a regional bank in the United States. And I would observe that if you look at the recent legal regulatory history of my giant competitors, uh, there's very little to admire. Um, the key to our business, and it's been the root of the legacy that my father and my sister and I um, build every day, is that uh, we do the best thing for our customer and for the bank, that we have a shared economic interest. Why are bank loans preferred over other sources of financing? From the entrepreneur's perspective, uh, obviously there's no interference with your equity. Right? And if you're building a business and you hope it's going to be successful, you'd like to retain all of the equity or you and your partners. So, you know, bank debt is just that. You repay us and you move on with your business. Would you rather trade an equity investment with little or no um, interest or no carry uh, for debt? I mean, that's all about the basic judgment you have to make about the strategic plan of your business. Since you're all about relationships and banks are the partner that goes away after the loan is repaid, does it worry you that you won't have a long-term relationship with that client? Not typically, no, because first of all, there are all kinds of cash management uh, elements to our banking relationship aside the debt. And also now with the uh, electronic process, all of the uh, electronic funds transfer, uh, the mobile banking, uh, all of the elements that, uh, of uh, receivables collection, a lockbox for companies with retail payments. Um, we have so many things to work together on permanently. And it's rare um, that uh, businesses will have no debt for some reason. You know, there are, as you well know, there are different uh, classes of debt from uh, a, a mortgage, a commercial mortgage for plant, for term equipment loans, for capital leases, uh, and for short-term working capital. So it's very rare that uh, any business has a strong enough permanent cash flow that they don't need some combination of that debt. So even if somebody's out of debt with us, and we're happy, you know, for most businesses, debt is the enemy, um, we know they'll be back on some level, either because of their growth or because of circumstances. From the borrower's perspective, which do they perceive as being more risky, a line of credit or a bank loan? It's all about the evolution of the business, right? Typically, a business in its early stages uh, where it is cash flow negative, they clearly will want to have both a term loan for uh, longer term assets they acquire and a line of credit uh, in place, depending uh, to, to carry them through receivables periods. So a smart entrepreneur will want to have uh, a, a term loan or a mortgage that has a similar period of amortization to the life of those assets attached to it uh, and a, a, a line of credit to carry them uh, through complicated periods when either their largest customer slows down their payments or something changes in their commodity mix or the inputs to their business. So they're two different products that should both exist for typically uh, most small businesses or medium-sized businesses. And it's our job in a negotiation, uh, in a dialogue, to arrive at the right size and the right terms for each of those. Do you think from the customer's perspective they would be better served having the line of credit in the bank loan at different banks? 
No, no, I don't. I, I, I think the most important decision you can make is who is going to be your principal banker, where you can connect to an institution of stability and strong ethics with senior managers that you can get to know, and hopefully more than one, that they'll be around for a long time. Uh, and then you must, it's very important you concentrate uh, all of your banking resources in one place. And the reason is that when we evaluate a relationship, remember, we look at the profitability of a relationship. And so if you, if you break apart your deposits and your loans in different places, that banker trying to make a, a tough decision about your future and their partnership with you, unless they can see the, the totality of your relationship and they feel it, they, they benefit by it, they're not likely to make the same decision. So it's a very important uh, decision in any business person's life, just like picking your lawyer and your accountant and your doctor for that matter. But you need to find one good bank that hopefully will be around, is not for sale uh, like us, and that has a legacy. And then you want to concentrate with good bankers and uh, put all of your business basically in one place. What keeps you up at night about Century Bank? One of the biggest risks we all have are the cyber risks. Um, it has become a, a much bigger potential problem than bank robbery ever was. And um, uh, our systems protecting them, protecting all of the electronic funds transfer, um, that is a, a major focus. Uh, it is uh, something you can never be too vigilant. Uh, and we revisit all of our protections and firewalls and processes all the time. We've had wonderful good luck, but you know, we, we worry because of those exposures. Barry, thank you. You're welcome. Barry Sloan, the CEO and President of Century Bank. Nonprofits still need to make money, but their goals are different. Hear their stories from all over Massachusetts next time on The Language of Business. Mm -hmm.